the reason why I brought this graph up is, is because um, we made this graph for the reason that we had this nice result. We ran this regression. We did a lot of work. Believe me, lots of research. This looks like a scatter plot. What every point requires is the output of an analysis. So it's a big deal. Anyway, we did this, and I wanted to display the result and make it clear to people. And then when I did that, we made this graph, and I realized that the lines weren't parallel. And it turned out that was the most important part of the story. So the, the um, graph was, even though it was supposed to be just to show off, it turned out that research was important. So actually, that is sort of the point, is that it, uh, there are many goals of graphics. And two of the ones that we're familiar with are showing off and learning from the data. And they're not really separate. Um, OK. Uh, so I have a couple of just some very simple examples. And I'm, I'm purposely giving, I'm going to give three really very simple, stupid examples uh, to just drive home the point. This first, uh, this is a graph that went viral or, or at least bacteri bacterial, maybe, on the web a couple of years ago. And you know, I saw this as a so African countries by GDP. And it's like, well, South Africa is the biggest one. What's number two? Let's try to figure out what's going on here. Like Nigeria, they have a, well, they have a lot of people, don't they? Like I'm, I'm thinking, oh, this is really bad. Like as a statistician, what would I do? So as a statistician, well, I, I do something like this. This, this sort of monstrosity. Well, this is much clearer if you want to compare the countries by GDP. And then, of course, I could renormalize them by population. Like, in the tense, if your goal is to display these 12 numbers, there's very little doubt that this is a better way to display 12 numbers than, than this. And how do you compare these different areas? On the other hand, like, it sort of misses the point because those 12 numbers have been sitting on Wikipedia for, forever and yet people weren't looking at them. So the point of this graph is to get people's attention and it, it did that very well. Uh, and so I just think it's very hard and, and it's my fault too. Like I've been, for years, I'll see graphs like this and say, oh, I hate this graph. It's so stupid. But then that's missing the point. The purpose of this graph is not to be able to quickly compare the GDP of Ghana to the GBT, GDP of Libya. Like, who would want to do that in the first place? The point of this graph is to make a dramatic statement and to provide information. Of course, anyone could say South Africa is the biggest economy, but this actually draws the reader in. So I respect this. It allows the reader to do this. At the same point, if you want to understand more structure, there's a limit to this kind of thing. And a display like this, although uglier, um, is a bit more open-ended, and it suggests that we could move forward. And really, that's the point of my talk, is that both of these have virtues. And in, I think that we have to recognize both kinds of virtues. And that's positive, and it's also negative. We should be able to criticize. Someone should be able to criticize this graph by saying it's not grabby. And someone should be able to criticize this graph by saying it doesn't show these information well. There should be nothing wrong with criticizing as long as we realize what we're contributing. Uh, here's another example that I'm sorry about the resolution. This one really did go viral a couple years ago. It's a, each line is a country. On the left axis is the amount spent per person on health care in that country. And on the right, the right axis is the life expectancy in the country. Now there's one graph where they, one country, that line, where they spend so much on Health care, it's off the chart, but they're average on life expectancy. I, I can't remember what the country is where they spend more on health care than Canada, maybe? I can't, I, can't, I can't remember. Anyway, so this is really striking. Now, I saw this graph, and I was like, well, gee, I'm plotting two variables. I, of course, it's a total cheat to make it go off the scale of the graph. That's because you make the scale of the graph, so it goes up. Like, I could put the border of the room right here, and I'd be talking to you from outside the room. Does that mean I'm freezing all of a sudden? No. OK, so here it is. This is much clearer. Actually, this is better statistically. USA still stands, that was the mystery country. USA still stands out. Um, but also, you see that there is a positive correlation among all the other countries, which is very hard to see there, that there's a positive correlation between the two axes. Um, on the other hand, of course, this thing is the thing that, that went viral. And so again, I want us to be able to see how we can do better, but while still recognizing what made this special. Um, and then is that, should, I, should I just conclude now? I don't, you don't need to see another example. I think two, two examples makes the point. Um, and so what I want to do here, um, just emphasize that, the click-through solution. So my solution is that we have the grabby graph, and you click, and then you get the data-rich graph, and then you click again, and you get the spreadsheet, and then people can analyze the data. And I think we, as producers of graphs and producers of knowledge, I think we should be 
doing that, we should be collaborating with people who have all these different skills and not thinking we have to do one sort of display or another. Thank you.